is up everyone? It is Rachel. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are going to be talking about UC Berkeley's new Haas undergraduate program, the Speaker Undergraduate Business Program. And honestly, this new business program, it basically affects high school juniors, current high school seniors, and freshmen and sophomores at UC Berkeley currently. So if you're new to my channel, hello, my name is Rachel. I graduated from UC Berkeley in the class of 2020 where I double majored in cognitive science and legal studies. Post-grad, I am currently working as a paralegal in environmental law litigation and this past admission cycle I was an external undergraduate admissions reader with UC Berkeley. So if you're a student applying to colleges this year or soon, you should definitely check out Study Hall College Consulting. We are a team of UC Berkeley graduates who specialize in reviewing college application essays as well as speaking one-on-one -on -one with students and parents. So definitely check out our website if you're interested in learning more. Without further ado, let's get into this video. If you're interested in looking at reading the articles that I'm using to create this video, I will have them all linked down below. So some background information, UC Berkeley offers an undergraduate degree in business from the Haas School of business. In the past, it was a two-year program, so during your freshman and your sophomore year at UC Berkeley, you would be taking the prerequisite courses. In the fall of your sophomore year, you would apply for Haas. You would hear back in the spring, and if you were accepted into the two-year business program, then your junior and senior year, you would be taking those business courses in order to graduate with that business degree. Previously, it was a two-year program. Now, with the new speaker undergraduate business program, it is going to be a four-year program. Basically, this is coming after Ned Speaker and his wife Carol, two alumna of the university, donated the largest gift in UC Berkeley history. They are donating $30 million, and with that money, it is transforming that two-year business program into the four-year business program, and thus, that is why it is named the Speaker Undergraduate Business Program after Ned and Carol Speaker. So it pays to have a lot of money. You can get buildings named after you, entire business programs named after you, but this program is still in the works. It is not for this current year's application cycle, but starting in fall 2023, so current juniors in high school, next year when you're applying to college, then you could apply directly into this four-year speaker business program. We're going to talk about the juicy information, what does this mean for you as a high school student, as a current Berkeley student? Because honestly, it is sort of very complicated and very confusing. So for current freshmen at UC Berkeley, you are graduating college in the class of 2026. This four-year program implementation does affect you. Like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, as a Berkeley student, you would usually apply to the Haas undergraduate business program the fall of your sophomore more year. However, now with this transition to the four-year program, the website says that there will be fewer spots for continuing students in the spring 2024 admission cycle. So online, they are saying, freshmen, right now, if you are prepared, you should apply to Haas this year instead of waiting until your sophomore year to apply because of the fewer number of seats because of this transition from two to four years. So that is sort of really crappy for you all current first years. You have to speed up that cycle basically if you want a greater chance of getting into the Haas business program because they are continuously saying there are going to be fewer seats if you waited until your usual sophomore year application. So if you're a current freshman and you want to apply early, apply during freshman year right now, there is something called the early access admissions process 
Basically, this early access admissions process will allow you as a prepared freshman student to be able to apply to Haas before that two to four year transition where there's going to be less seats available for you. Basically, you still have to take all of the Haas prerequisites, complete all of the regular courses, do the application and everything, but they are extending that eligibility for when you have to complete those prerequisite courses by. Usually, you would have to have completed or signed up for all of the prerequisites by the time you are applying in your sophomore year. Obviously, since you'd be applying freshman year, it would be a more rushed timeline, but they are saying you can complete the prerequisites requisites through summer 2023 in order to combat that rushed timeline. So I feel like this is a really, really big change in policy for you current UC Berkeley freshmen. For current sophomores at UC Berkeley, not much has really changed. You still would be able to do the two-year Haas undergraduate degree program, where this is sort of like the old way of applying to Haas. Like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, you don't have to combat with the fewer seats option that the current freshmen are dealing with. So pretty much for you current sophomores, nothing much has changed. If you're familiar with the old Haas process, you would apply the regular way and it seems like there are the regular number of seats available. And then for current high school seniors, if you are applying to Berkeley now, fall 2022, similar to the current sophomores at Berkeley, the website does not have that information about fewer seats being available, but it does seem like currently right now with this current information, who knows because they might be changing it in the future, but right now it does seem like for you high school seniors applying to Berkeley, you would apply to Haas in the regular two-year application program. You don't have access to that four-year program right now, but it would be the regular two-year application where you would apply in your sophomore year. Where I would imagine they are all going to be very competitive. Applying for the two-year program was already very, very competitive. Now you are opening it up even more, so I would imagine these programs would also be very competitive to get into, similar to the College of Engineering and the College of chemistry admissions at Berkeley, which I do think this four-year change can be a good thing, similar to other undergraduate universities. For their business program, you would apply as a high school student and you would get accepted. You know you are in their business program. However, for like some of my friends at Berkeley, they really, really wanted to study business. They applied to Haas our sophomore year and they didn't end up getting accepted into Haas, so then they couldn't study business and maybe they wished they had gone to a different undergraduate university so that they could have actually studied business. So now, at least with the four-year program, you would know whether you are business or not, and that could affect where you choose to commit to when you're going to college. On the other hand, maybe as a high school student, you don't even know that you would want to study business. A lot of high schools don't really have like business-related courses, so it's sort of hard as a high schooler if you didn't know what business was or you didn't know you wanted to study business, how are you to apply for an entire business degree as an undergrad? But also with these business degrees, you might have to go on and get more education anyways, like getting your MBA, going to business school after undergrad. So getting an undergraduate business degree isn't really the end all be all here. So yeah, that is some information about this new four year speaker undergraduate business program that is rolling out next year. If you have any questions, definitely leave a comment down below. If you had any videos that you wanted to see me do, also leave a comment below. If you liked this video, give it a big thumbs up to help me out with the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos from me. Thank you all so much for watching. Good luck with applying to college and I will see you all next time.